Good morning. I don't really know if I have anything to say or not. I like my little fish here though, so I figured we'd give it a try. Everybody, be sure you take your coffee out with you in the morning. Take off your shoes and socks and put your bare feet on the ground. Sit and soak up the nature that's around you. I don't care if it's just a little bitty piece of yard or something. Find a way to connect with Gaia directly. She'll fill you up. She'll bless and nurture and restore you in ways you're not even aware of. You can't see it happening. Neither can I. But I guess we kind of begin to get where we can feel it a little bit. I don't know. I'm just saying it's a real blessing. And especially if you can be out when it's sunrise, look at the sun. Look right into it. It won't hurt you. That's some more garbage. You know, I'm not saying stare at the noonday sun. Don't be stupid, okay? Don't use me as an excuse for you being stupid. You gotta quit that stuff. Be sensible. You know, Google sun gazing, maybe. There's blessing to be had in it. Ra, that sun is a, is a conscious being, a sentient being, an individual, if you will, just like Gaia is. They're so majestic, it's kind of beyond what can be taken in here in 3D. But that's okay. You're not a 3D thing. That's just a suit of clothes that you wear. That's your diving suit. So you can be seen here. So you can dive in and play this game for a while. That's not you. Uh-uh. You're more like the sun. More like Gaia than you know. We've got to get out of this minimizing ourselves the way we've been so schooled and trained and taught and programmed to do. Uh-uh. Whatever you're told from now on, <laughs> question authority big time. I don't care if it's in a book or what. Question it. Just question it. From your heart now, not from your head. You'll never satisfy that head. It ain't happening. Can't be done. Now the heart, that's another thing entirely. I keep calling you in here. And I know a lot of you swim with me in the kingdom of heart. You can swim there. You can swim out and visit the sun and the planets and the stars and things. I do it. I know. It's doable. Once, especially once we get rid of the concept that we're the body. We gotta shed that. And you know, in a way, it's kind of fun that I have all these little video toys to play with. That helps everybody get used to me being me no matter what image I wear. Whee! I like that. Yep, yep, yep. I like that. Uh-huh. I do. Well, shed the image of you. Let it go. That's not you. Find your own way, of course. You'll be led to what's just right for you. It'll just show up. You set your intent in your heart, and then you just kind of watch. You don't wait. There's no waiting. Waiting is time, and there's none of that. Not the way we're used to thinking about it. That's just a bunch of nonsense. Poppy, behave. Oh, well. Oh, well. Poor kitty. What a way to spend her last years with a rambunctious pup. Oh, well, you know, it's what's in the now. We just take it and go on. Look at your pets, at how accepting they are of whatever life brings them. You know, especially your cats. Whatever is, 
they just accept. They don't question. They don't beat themselves up. You know, we've been trained into just a bunch of crap. We've been trained to be mean to ourselves. That's got to stop. You're a great cosmic being. You know, get in that heart of yours. Connect up with the cosmos there. Expand into that. You go in to go out, you know. In is out. Up is down. Yeah, all that stuff. This is the land of reflection. Have a bright day. Love you.